two more days in the books. And is the plan changing? Well, certainly not for the vote against Whitney, but possibly, you know, with this cast, they're always planning for the next week. Are things changing on that front? We'll get to that, but let's talk about Whitney. Whitney has decided to finally try and stay in this game, but she has waited until the last goddamn day to campaign. So tired of players waiting till this last day to campaign. If Whitney would have tried this before Christian used the veto, I mean, would it have mattered? Probably not, but I do think she would have had a better chance to stay in this game had she started it right after the veto competition. But waiting till the last day to try and change the king's minds to try and keep her over Hannah, telling Christian she would go after Derek X and Hannah if she stayed in this game, I think it just really proves how bad Whitney has been at this. Like turning, always turning on her allies of people, her teammates that were trying to help her just a week and a half ago. Her strategy has always just been to throw teammates under the bus, and it's worked like shit. So yeah, and I, I don't. The Kings didn't even fall for it. So Whitney definitely a goner. We'll move on to Derek X and Hannah, who have continued to be an odd situation. On Tuesday, Derek X kept calling Hannah emotional to a couple different people in the house, like Tiffany. And it's just not true. And I'm just tired of these fucking dudes, specifically Kylan and Derek X, always wanting to call some of the girls in the house emotional players when these two motherfuckers in the first week and a half were emotional, messy water signs. I don't think they have a right to call anybody in this game, emotional players after the way they acted to start this game. They are emotional water signs. And this is coming from a water sign. So, and frankly, every player in this house is pretty much emotional players. The only one that maybe isn't is Claire. I would say even Xavier's an emotional player because he's always been fucking simping. But outside of Claire, everybody else has been pretty fucking emotional in this game about something. Even the self-proclaimed non-emotional player Tiffany is always pretty fucking emotional about something. But back to Derek X and Hannah. Despite Derek X calling her emotional, and despite them having some disagreements over the last two days, they I think they finally realize they can have different targets and still work together. It has irked me a lot how much Derek X has kept from Hannah when I don't feel like it has benefited him to do this. Derek X has been a little too loyal to Tiffany and Kylan, putting their, their game over his. And I hope this is progress for Derek X and Hannah to become a duo so that the non-emotional player Hannah could cut him soon in this game because Hannah would cut his ass. <sighs> One thing I really liked on uh, Tuesday was Claire and Aza actually talking some game. Claire and Aza have been two players in this game that have had great gut instincts about people or about certain situations for this first four weeks of the game. I do think they probably have two of the best gut instincts in this game, or at least that's they're the ones that have shown this so far. But the problem with both of them continues to be they do not know how to turn their intuition into good gameplay, or sometimes even any gameplay. I mean, I, I there's nothing I can do for Oz's fucking gameplay right now. I still feel like on a social level she's good, but strategically... She fucking drives me crazy. She just is not... Uh, I mean, I'm glad she's finally talking more game with more people, especially with the goddamn team tours finally coming to an end, I hope. 
but it's kind of late in the game. I mean, it's not too late in the game. It's never too late. But her reads sometimes are good, but other times they're just not good. I've also not enjoyed how both Aza and Derek X separately have gone through scenarios where they put each other on the block. Uh, Derek X talking about putting Brittany and Aza on the block and then trying to backdoor Christian. I think that's stupid. Aza talking about putting Derek X on the block, possibly against def different people. And I just think that would just be bad for both of their games. Not that Aza would go home for Brittany, but you never know what can happen. But yes, I did like Claire and Aza actually talking game, but they just, neither one of them knows how to develop the game for themselves. Tiffany is the one that basically still runs Claire, although we'll get to something in a second. But Claire has just not been able to create her own alliances for her own winning game. And same goes for Aza. Aza just has the cookout and is pretty close to Brittany. And that's about it. It's not the worst thing, but she's also, she's not playing a winning game. But some of Tiffany's closest allies have started to change the plan. Tiffany has been growing the target on Sarah Beth's back all week, only for the likes of Claire and Derek X to not think that is the next, the best move for this next round. And of course, Kylan agrees with that too, that it's not the best move because of course he's close to Sarah Beth. Now, I don't know where Claire actually stands on this. If he's, she really agrees with Derek X that Christian should go before Sarah Beth, but it seems like she does. She keeps saying, she's kept repeating over the last two days that sometimes the best target, or no, sometimes the obvious target is the best target. Not obvious target being Christian, who's been killing competitions. But I don't think it bodes well for Tiffany if her, all of her closest allies are already not starting to follow the leader because Tiffany plays this very. She plays this game where she needs you to follow her. It's a very controlling game. And she does have control over Claire and Derek X. They don't play their own game as much as they played for Tiffany or Kyland. But if they're starting to play their own game now, it does not bode well for Tiffany's long game, as I keep saying, because she has set herself up where she cannot win an HOH without having a, a massive amount of blood on her hands. So she needs to control some players in this game and get them to do her bidding. Now, Sarah Beth is still a target for a lot of people, but there's definitely enough people that have tried to shift their target to Christian or Alyssa in this next round. Now, another person Tiff has pulled close this week is definitely Hannah. Uh, those two made a final two and stuff, and now Tiffany has even let her in on information about the cookout and how it really did start, and how Tiffany and others thought that. Uh, Hannah, they were worried about Hannah being in the cookout because of her age. So it's good that Tiffany has another person in her corner, kind of. I still think, though, Hannah, Hannah's definitely the smartest person in the house. She's the smartest person in the cookout. I think Hannah's a very dangerous person to get laid into this game. I really think Hannah could pull off a win, pull off some moves late in the game. But one thing about Hannah, she is definitely on board with the cookout. Didn't even phase her that the cookout basically started without her and they were wary about bringing her in and they never told her the real name of the cookout. But this, I think this just proves that Hannah's not an emotional player like she's been called over the last 48 hours. Hannah's in this game to do some damage when she can. It's just, can she survive this next week if Sarah Beth wins? H-O-H. Aza and Derek X had a conversation today. It was a long conversation, mostly personal stuff. Like always, they have a more of a personal connection than on a game level, but they did talk a little bit of game. I think Derek X has Aza back on board to go after Christian or Alyssa, but we'll see if that sticks because the players in this house change their targets every goddamn day. As it stands, I assume Aza's going for Christian and Alyssa if she wins tomorrow, but about Aza, 
Aza hurt her knee in that Beto challenge. She was limping a lot over the last couple of days. So that can hurt her if it is a wall comp coming up. I still think Alyssa is the favorite to win it if it is a wall comp or even a hanging competition of some kind where you got to hang on something. If Alyssa wins, I assume Aza is still her target. But and against Brittany, I don't know if Aza goes home. Against Hannah, it gets interesting. Against Big D would be crazy. I have a hard time seeing Alyssa putting up Big D. There would be so much drama. People's fear putting up Big D still. Tiffany's likely throwing this. I assume Claire's throwing this. I think Kylan wants to go for it. I think Kylan would go after the showman's. Xavier, I think, wants to throw, but he might try and win. I have no idea what he would do, though, if he won. Um, Derek X, definitely going for it. He wants Christian out, even though he wants to go up over the back door for Christian. Uh, I think Hannah, I don't know where Hannah really stands. I think probably Sarah Beth, since Sarah Beth going after her hardcore, Sarah Beth would probably put up Hannah. Would Sarah Beth put up Hannah and Derek X next to each other? That is the question. Um, I don't think Derek F has a chance. Brittany, Brittany would be such an interesting HOH. I think the house would be in fucking shambles if Brittany was the next HOH. No idea what she would really do. Who would talk her into what? It would be chaos if Brittany pulls off the HOH comp. But it should be interesting to see what endurance this is. Here's hoping for a pressure cooker. Probably not, though. Probably some type of wall, some type of hanging from something. Maybe it is the slippery one where, you, like I said the other day, when you got to go over the oil and fill something up. The, but it's feeling like it's a wall comp of some sort. And I think Alyssa's the favorite. I think Aza would have had a good chance if she wasn't injured, unless she's faking it, <laughs> which would be interesting. Uh, Sarah Beth had to have a shot. I think Derek X has a shot, maybe even Kylan. Of the two, I think Derek X has more of a shot in a wall comp than Kylan. I don't count out Brittany. We'll see if Brittany can finally live up to the comp beast she has talked herself up on. But Alyssa, the odds on favorite right now, I think. I hope not. I got it right last week with Christian. So there's hoping I'm wrong this time, though. 